show me 20,000 mAh power bank, a newest model, unboxing and review starts now. I usually show me packaging. You have a authentication code. So in packaging you get a user manual, also this time in Chinese, a micro USB cable and power bank itself. This is the first time I see a Xiaomi power bank packed in plastic bag. Let's check out the dimensions of battery. It is a little bit more than 14 centimeters tall. With seven and two millimeters wide. With thickness of two and three millimeters. If we compare this model with 10,000 mAh Xiaomi power bank, this one is twice the size and if we compare with 16,000 model, this one is just wider. The other dimensions are quite similar. And something about build quality. The complete battery housing is made of plastic. I believe that is done because of weight if all this housing was made from metal, the battery will be a lot more heavier. The front and the back side are made of dotty plastic texture. On the sides, it's glossy plastic. On the front side, we have a usual Mi logo and left and back side are totally blank. On the right side we have one and only button. And on the top side we have a micro USB port for charging battery and two output USB ports with maximum output power of two amperes, which means that with this battery you can charge two devices at the same time. There are also a four LED indicators when they are not glowing, to show a battery capacity, you need to press a button once and they will glow and show a battery state. I will do a quick explanation how they work. It's quite a simple. If you have a one light glowing, that means the battery have a 0 to 25% of battery left. And if you have a two lights glowing, that means that battery have uh, 25 to 50% of battery juice left and if you have a three lights that means the battery state is between 50 and 75% left and if you have all four lights glowing that means the battery state is somewhere between 75 and 100% of battery state left. In my case here I have uh, all four lights glowing up so that means the battery have somewhere between 75 and 100 percent battery left so it's quite simple to understand it's convenient to use and it works very well and something about capacity the manufacturer stated uh, 20,000 mAh and there is a one tiny trick which all battery manufacturers use. This 20,000 mAh is for 3.6 volts and when you are charging your phone, tablet or any other device it uses uh, around 5 volts which is a different calculation for 
output power you can have from battery. So Xiaomi on all their batteries have a 5.1 volts capacity, which is in this case 12,700 milliampere hours. And this is a realistic capacity and this works for every other battery manufacturer. So when you buy a battery from let's say 5,000 milliampere hours capacity and you have phone with 1,000 milliampere hours battery, that doesn't mean that you can charge your phone, or phone five times with that battery. It's usually a lot less and that's because of this conversation because they show a number for 3.6 volts and you need a output power from 5.1 volts when you're charging your phone or any other device. This power bank also have uh, LG batteries inside. I didn't open a power bank to confirm this, but I believe that they use LG because they used it in the previous versions of power banks. About my personal experience with this power bank is that manufacturers stated that iPhone 6 can be charged about seven times and I'm using a iPhone 6s with 1700 milliampere hours battery so I managed to charge it around six and a half times so I can confirm that battery capacity is realistic Keep in mind that it can vary a lot how much time you can charge your phone with this or any other battery. Some people start charging their phones when they get 20% of battery state and others start charging when the battery gets dry out totally. So there is a lot of difference how much time in the end you get from a full charge power bank. So keep that in mind. I got this power bank from Gearbest. I did a pre-order. I will put the links in the description. So if you decide to buy, you can check out the links and the price on Gearbest. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and thumbs up. And until next time, see ya.